Ready? Okay, we are here at Raw Spirit Gym, and uh, we've got Coach Andy Quattrochi. He's going to take us through a little walkthrough of uh, their facility. Coach, how's it going tonight? Pretty good. How are you? Good. How about these graphics up here? Uh, I love these What's graphics. The uh, really good. Um, more advertising than just a, you know, a sign. You can even see it all the way from the highway there. Um, especially when the lights are on and during the day, it, it really stands out. It's really something different than just uh, just a neon sign. It really like goes from like side to side with all the information on it. We have, even have it on our back door too. So it's it's, uh, it's been a good deal. It's been a good thing for us. Thank you. Um, this is our, our our lobby, parent lobby. So the kids come sit, do their homework. Parents come around, watch the TV, football on Sundays. Not anymore, but. Um, Storage, lounge, keep all uniforms in-house here, take care of them ourselves, do our own laundry, stuff like that. Tons of space, so turn to have out. We have our meetings out here, so it's a little less a little less noisy than it, than it gets out to the big gym. This is our, one of our lovely office workers, Brianne Johnson, and our um, office control area here. I call it the drive through window. kind of looks like a Burger King or whatever. This is my um, humble abode. Yeah. It's more of a closet, but it works enough for me. That way I can... Uh, Shut the parents all the way out. <laughs> Coming into the there main part of our gym. Um, so the magic happens. Huh? This, yeah, this is where all the magic happens. We you know, have a separate parent seating area um, to keep them you know, off the floor and out of the way and kind of keep them keep, keep them on their side of the, the wall. We stay on our side of the wall. So there's still plenty of room. It encourages parents to come and sit and watch, but at the same time, you know, letting us do our job and do what we're good at. Excellent. Always... So I spend many hours a day here as much as our staff do, so we always have our fridge here so we can keep our lunch and keep our you know, staff healthy. Also, obviously, ice, any kind of injury, injury, stuff like that. Um, we have two full-size competition spring floors connected by another strip in the middle, so if we needed an extra long tumbling pass or extra room, we have over 100 feet from one end to the other um, for our more elite power tumbling classes. Um, you know, regulation in ground or above ground pit uh, with a 14 foot crash mat. You know, spent a lot of time up there. You can kind of see over there, there's two crash mats over there. We've had so much business on it, we've already worn one out, we've already gone to our second one. So it's uh, most of the time they don't wear out that easy, but they've worn out a lot. This is uh, um, this is actually from one of our middle schools here. Um, it's Loftus Middle School trains here. They are actually back to back champions um, in uh, NCAA in Dallas. So that was uh, something they let us display here. So we're pretty proud of that. that they they allow us to do that because we've trained with them since most of the kids were going through elementary up in the middle school and most of them go on to study high school which is a big, you know, one of our more competitive teams in the city. Now it looks like you guys got quite a few uh, banners that quite a few accolades. Um, you know, we, 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 well. we actually still have uh, several to put up for the past two years. Most of these are from the first couple of years. We've only been in business. Uh, this is our fourth year. Uh -huh. So um, we, uh, we have been we're enjoying as much success as we can get right now. So we're, we're doing what we can do. Looks like it. Got yeah, the girls doing push-ups over here, Coach. Yeah, you know, we got, we got, you see one of our uh, local colleges. Drill sergeants over here. Oh, yeah. Hey, we, got, we got 24 days till Dallas, so we're trying to kick it into high gear. Uh, we also have a, a regulation size non-spring floor for our schools that practice in the area. We have several schools that come and get choreography from here and train here and uh, get ready to compete here, and they have to compete on the non-spring floor. So we, we're one of the gyms in the area that, that offer that. Some, some of the gyms offer just spring floor, so we, you know, kind of, we, we recognize the need, and we work with about 40 or 41 high schools and middle schools throughout the year, so we have, definitely had to make sure that, that was put in. We have it. We had a dance floor over there too, but uh, right now our, our cheer space is needed more than the dance space, so we have uh, extra mats over there too. So we can. There's at our busiest peak days, there could be anywhere from you know 150, 200 kids all training here at one time. Wow. So I mean, now do you guys open, keep your doors open all day long? Is that uh, we, how it works? We or? I get here about one. Um, you know, management staff gets here about 12:30 or one. You know, we go through the emails, check the phone, check the phone calls, do whatever we got to do, make sure it's all straightened up. Classes run from three until nine. Um, like today, it's a little bit later today, but we have some of our all-star teams and some of our colleges here. So we, we'll, we'll you know, this is going on 16 years. I, I've, I've been many days where I get here at noon and leave at 10. Mm -hmm. uh, this college over here. Yes, it's UTC, University UTC. of Tennessee at Chattanooga. Correct. Right. Okay. Now, yeah, you got, how often do you work with them? Uh, they, they've, we've, Coach Ashley Skiles, we've worked, had a good relationship with her for a long time. Um, she's just started trying to really build up their co-ed program. They've had one in the past, but it's a... Uh, really starting to rebuild and um, we worked with a lot of their athletes so getting them in here to train and getting them ready to uh, possibly compete in the future is something we've been uh, real proud to do. Awesome. How about this one over here? Uh, this is here? our senior co-ed level three team 
Okay. Um, one of our team, we're taking three of our teams to Dallas, the senior co-ed large level three, our, our junior level three, and our senior all-girl level four are three um, more competitive teams that, uh, that we are taking to Dallas. And um, we really think the reason they were picked is we think all three of those teams have a really good chance. So we're excited. We, uh, we took six teams last year, and uh, we did a good show in there. One of our, our junior level three team uh, placed second out of 18. So we got, a, we, got, we got high hopes again. Wow, for little old Chattanooga. Yeah, I know, right? And we find all the way across the country is a, it's a big deal for this part of the city or part of the uh, country. And uh, we've had to, uh, our parents have really bought into it. It was kind of hard at first, kind of get them to really, like, really, we're going all the way to Dallas. And um, the experience in Dallas is just awesome. They, they run a great competition. It's just, it's, it's a big deal. And our kids and our parents really loved it. So we're, uh, we're going to keep on going. Wow, that's great.